Good morning, evening, afternoon, afternoon. That is what it is. It's the afternoon. Ah, imagine that. Oh, oh man, that's crazy. Oh, I need this accent and I don't know why. Oh no. Ah. Anyways, we are on our way to a place where things are unimaginable. People are unbelievable. No, no, we're just we're just going to a garage to work on a car. That's it. But uh, a weird thing was happening just to, or happened. No, just as I was walking out to my truck, um, there was a SUV sitting not in front of the apartment building, but kind of down the way, but in my parking lot. And as I came outside and I got in my truck, um, they left, and. Nobody got in their SUV, nobody got out that I saw, but they left. Um, I found that a little weird, like, was somebody spying on me? Were they? Were you spying on me? Hey! Hey, don't spy on me! Hey! Don't you spy on me! If you do it, do it the right way. Do it on MySpace or Facebook or whatever else. Internet. Face. Internet. Thingy. I am tired. I need coffee. I'm gonna go get coffee. All right, we're in the garage. I don't know if you can hear the heater going, but yeah. All right, um, here's the lift that I helped install. Whoa! I just helped uh, fix a little bit of it. Here's the car that I have to put plugs and wires in, and it doesn't look fun. I gotta take these wishbones out and put, you know, move the motor and stuff. It's it's gonna be a blast. Let me tell you what. So I'm going to get ahead working on this, and uh, yeah, and then hopefully I'll get it done in a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to change the plug on this car, one of them at least. Alright, um, what I do is I like to disconnect the wire. I already got two of them done actually. But we're going to disconnect this wire right here. Yank on it, alright. You want to you wanna leave it hanging there for now so you don't lose where it goes. I mean you can, because I like to keep, I like to change one at a time. Everything, plug, and then the wire change it all at one time. I don't pull everything off. Then you get mixed up, used, and you end up with the car running right. So, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this plug. Alright, we've got the plug out. Oh, here it is. Uh, what we look for is the color and the gap here. And the old plugs. Um, so I always, uh, what I do is I set my, uh, I'm trying to reposition the camera here. I set my dealer gauges or my, um, gauges for the gap to what the gap is supposed to be for the, um, for the actual car. So let me go ahead and take a look at this one. Alright, so upon inspection here, let me put this down and see if I could get a better view of it here. So, when you take your feeler gauges and you put them in there, oh, it's so blurry. Um, it's, it's very loose and very, there's, there's more of a gap than what there should be. So then we take a new plug right here. We look at it, make sure that this isn't bent or anything. And then of course you take your feeler gauges. I know this is blurry, I'm sorry. Let me just do this really quick. All right, as you can see here, the feeler gauge is in there. I'm not even holding the plug. That's how, that's how you want it. You want it nice and snug, uh, some friction in there. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this, and then we'll change the wire, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we have the uh, plug back in there, and now we're going to change this wire. Now, let me find the wire that I took out. Alright, so we have this wire loose. I follow it through this little guy here, and I follow it to the proper location after you discover out where it goes here. Where do you go? I think it's one of these. Nope, not that one. Nope. <laughs> this is very difficult to figure out which wire it is. It can only be four wires right now. Alright, I found him. Alright, it's... You see it? That guy right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my screwdriver, use the exhaust manifold as a brace. Pop him off. Take them out of there, 
Now we have the wire. We come over to our set of wires here. And it should be this, this wire here because of the link. So what I, what I do is, um, this is going to be a horrible video today. What I do is, I match them up. So you, you match them up. You go down to the end here. And they're, they're about the same. The newer one's a little bit longer. That's okay. I'm going to go install this. And then we'll have the front three done. And then I will show you how I'm going to get the back three. It's going to be fun and exciting. All right, I'm going to get ready to uh, move the motor so I can get to the back. Because if you see back here, shine the light back here, you have really no room to get to those back plugs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off and this off, and we're going to pull this motor forward and then reattach it into these holes here. And that will hold the motor forward, and we can do what we did up front here in the back change the plugs and wires and everything and then it'll be done with its small tune-up and um, the reason we're doing a tune-up to this car is because it failed emissions it needs uh, it was failing HC's which is hydrocarbons and that is unburnt fuel so theoretically uh, in theory what I'm thinking is the wires and the plugs are old enough that it's not burning everything but it's it's still running but it just isn't burning enough and by the inspection of the old plugs, you can tell that the gap is too big, so the spark probably isn't as strong. So it's not burning all the fuel that's in there, creating bad emissions. So we're going to go ahead, finish this up, take it back over to my nephew, and um, he's going to have to take it to emissions sometime eventually. I think they're closed tomorrow, so whatever. I don't know. Anyways, out. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a good day.